We are live at Camelback Ranch. The Dodgers and Reds getting set for first pitch in the Dodgers' third game of the Cactus League. And we're joined right now by Max Muncie. Max, great to see you yesterday. I know the feeling's not mutual, but can you pretend for the sake of this purpose? Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> long pause, long pause. <laughs> Oh, man, it really was great to see you in person. I'm sure it's good for you guys to actually have some fans in the stands, right? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, last year was a little strange. Thankfully, when we got to the playoffs, we were able to get some fans back in there. And uh, you know, I felt a little bit back to normal. Um, still not the same, but uh, hopefully towards the end of this year, we can start getting the stadiums a little more packed out because, you know, as we know, Dodger fans, they travel the best with us and they, they fill out every, every stadium. And uh, it just makes baseball uh, – Pretty, a pretty special experience getting to play in front of them. What was the off season like for you, Max? Uh, this is the first time we have spoken since I am going to call you now World Series champion, Max Muncy. Uh, you know, it was, uh, uh, unfortunately, I think it was kind of the same, you know, because we didn't really get a chance to go out and celebrate. And, uh, uh, you know, with everything that happened, it was, you know, you basically just went home and, you know, we still had to quarantine after, uh, after we won. So we had to get, basically just go home and self quarantine for a couple of weeks. And then by the time that was up, it was kind of back to training. So, um, you know, it felt kind of like a normal off season, uh, but you know, we were still treasuring the world championship, obviously. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to celebrate that, but, uh, you know, for right now, no one's thinking about it. We're just thinking about this year. I'm sure there were a lot of emotions for you, Max, not only winning the world series championship, but, your great wife, Kelly, is pregnant and you're getting ready to be a papa, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, baby girl due in July. Um, you know, we're really excited, also really scared, uh, you know, but it'll be, a, it'll be a fun journey. And, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to it and we, we can't wait. What's the spring training been like for you and the team? Getting together for the first time, Max, like you said, you never had a chance to celebrate. What's it like to be reunited with these guys for the first time? It's great. Um, you know, everyone showed up and it was right back to work. No one was, uh, uh, you know, talking about what happened last year. Everyone's talking about what we're going to do this year. And, uh, you know, we're, we're all focused 100 percent on going out there each and every day and trying to get as good, uh, you know, trying to get to a point where we're as good as can be. And, uh, you know, we can go out there and put our best foot forward every single day. And, you know, that's really the most important thing is uh, just taking it one game at a time. And that's what we're focusing on doing right now. Yeah, that's the one thing I've been trying to convey to people just from what I've seen. It's business as usual. You guys are not glowing in being World Series champions. It seems like everybody is acting like you never won it. Yeah, um, you know, everyone here is still hungry. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that has to do with just the, you know, the group of guys that we have, because we, we have a great group of guys, character-wise, talent-wise, just being great teammates, or if it's just the fact that we didn't get to celebrate, so everyone feels like we didn't really win. But, um, you know, we're world champions at the end of the day, and, uh, that was last year, though. Uh, so this is this year. It's a new season. Um, as far as we're concerned, we haven't done anything yet. Uh, and so we got to go out there every day, like I said. And, uh, you know, that's how everyone's been working. Max, you've established yourself now in the major leagues. You've been such a big part of Dodger Octobers, including last year. How do you treat spring training? Has it evolved into a different routine or is it has it stayed the same? Uh, you know, it stays the same for me, but uh, you know, the most important thing this year is just being healthy. Um, you know, we had some issues last year, just, uh, you know, with, with summer camp breaking the, you know, breaking the finger and then, uh, you know, just the, uh, the, the mental, the mental stuff that came with that, uh, you know, the most important thing to me this year is trying to stay healthy and, um, you know, making sure I'm ready to go right from the start. And, uh, so far I feel great. And, uh, uh, we've been working hard at that. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to be, uh, uh, ready to go once the season starts. Max, you have such a high pain tolerance. You've shared with me privately over the last couple of years that you've had some injuries that have limited you, but you're always still in the lineup. Is your pain tolerance a blessing and a curse at the same time? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, I was, the, the way I was raised between my dad and then playing high school football in Texas, you kind of learn to, uh, you know, just deal with, uh, uh, just deal with pain, deal with injuries. Um, you know, it's just, something I've always grown up with. So, uh, you know, that's, that's how I go out there. I don't, I don't let anything hold me back unless it's, unless it's to a point where I feel like I'm hurting the team. Uh, I'm going to go out there every single day and play as hard as I can. And uh, if my body breaks at the end of that game, so be it. As long as I'm putting my, as long as I'm putting my team in a chance to win, that's really all I care about. Max, that makes a lot of sense because you play with such intensity and you do play with a lot of pain. 
do you bring the football mentality to baseball with you? Uh, so, some people would say that. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I just go out there and, you know, the way I was always taught the game when I was little is you play it as hard as you can. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. If, uh, if I have to go in there and break out a double play at second, if I have to try and beat out a ground ball at first, if I, if I need to score on a ball in the gap, you know, um, if I need to just lay down and block a ball, I'm going to do whatever I can uh, to just help the team win. Um, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, my body doesn't matter. It's the team. Um, and as long as we're winning games, I'll do whatever it takes to, to make that happen. Max Muncy is our guest. All right, Max, every team every year has its own unique characteristics. You lose Kike Hernandez and Jock Peterson, and it appears you're going to lean on some younger players. What do you think about some of the younger players you've seen in camp and how much do they have to be ready to be leaned upon? Oh, they better, they better be ready right from the start. Um, you know, that's how this organization works. It's uh, There's no easing into things. If you're if you're called up to the major leagues, it's not by accident. It's because we know you're going to help us win the game. And, uh, you know, when it's your turn, you got to go out there and perform. And um, everyone in this clubhouse right now, whether it's a 40-man guy, a non-roster guy, um, you know, they have a chance to help this team win, and that's why they're here. Uh, you know, the, the front office and, the, you know, the staff, they wouldn't bring anyone in if they didn't think they could help us. So, uh, you know, for the young guys, they, they know that. I think they've seen – past several years contributions we've had from uh, you know guys coming up and just uh, having having big moments for us and you know it's going to be the same this year it's going to be the same next year it's going to be the same the year after that uh, you know there's always going to be a guy that comes up that uh, he's got to be ready to go right from the start and, um, Zach, yeah Zach McKinstry told me he worked out with you in January yeah um, yeah he's out here in Arizona the guy is super talented he's uh uh, you know, he has a chance to, uh, to, to be Kike for us, obviously hitting left-handed instead of right-handed, um, you know, maybe, maybe not as many dance moves, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we're going to miss Kike's uh, personality in the clubhouse. That's for sure. Um, you know, the guy did so much for us on the field, off the field, uh, he is great, but, you know, McKinstry has got a chance to be really good for us. He, you know, he's got a great swing. I, I love his swing. He wants to work hard. Uh, he wants to go out there and win. So, uh, you know, I think he's got a chance to be really good for us. Did he call you or did you call him? Uh, you know, he kind of just showed up in the field and, uh, you know, we, we brought him in and we, we brought him in. So let's go. And, uh, uh, you know, he, he worked, he worked very hard from the moment he showed up. So, uh, I've been very impressed with him. That's awesome. Can you believe now you're a mentor? Uh, you're at that stage of your career. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know if we're there yet. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll pass along any knowledge that I have that helps us win. That's all I care about. Um, you know, that's, that's really all, that's all anyone in this clubhouse cares about is just trying to win. Hey, everybody loves Funky Muncie in Los Angeles, and it'll be great for them to be able to celebrate you again. Congratulations on being a World Series champion. That's the last time I'll bring up 2020. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get old hearing it, so you don't have to not bring it up. But okay, uh, yeah, we're focused on this year. But you know, like I said, at the end of the day, we are still champions from last year, and it, it does it doesn't get old hearing that. That's for sure. It's great to see that smile when I. When I mentioned World Series champion Max Muncy, can't wait to see that ring on your finger uh, at the home opener on April 9th. Mark it down, Max. Yeah, you and me both. I haven't seen the ring yet, so I'm excited to see, you know, uh, how, how big it is, how extravagant it is. You know, it's the Dodgers. It's going to be it's going to be pretty impressive. I know that. Are you, do you think you'll wear it or do you think you'll just keep it in your house? I've heard it's too big to actually wear. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Okay, we'll see whether or not you uh, you rock it at maybe a, an, a, an event or something like that. Yeah, it might, it might be too big to wear as a ring. Maybe I'll put it on like a, like a bracelet or maybe like around my neck. You know? we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, I love it. That's awesome. Max, thanks a lot for the time. Congratulations and continued health the rest of the spring.